Lot number 131 is a 2010 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. This one has 142,000 miles. The motor sounds good. It has a slight misfire on idle. And when you accelerate it, you can feel misfire. It doesn't rev up steady. It has a slight misfire when you accelerate it. Uh, the automatic transmission engages and the AC is blowing cool. I can see the AC compressor engages and then it quickly disengages. And that may be because it's missing Freon. Now I'm gonna rev it up. See if you can hear the misfire. Motor sounds good and it does rev up strong, but there's a steady misfire when you accelerate it and a slight hesitation. So, motor sounds good, automatic transmission engages, and the AC probably just needs Freon. I did see the AC compressor engage and disengage. It's blowing now, and it's blowing cool. The body is straight, headlights are dull, paint looks fair. It's got minor dents and scratches all around. The trunk lid looks moldy, it's parked under a tree. It's got some paint damage back here it looks like a little rust or surface rust is occurring rear bumper appears to have a uh, cracked paint and it's all scratched up in the rear again the trunk lid is moldy that should clean up nice there's the passenger side looks good it's got the four matching hubcaps Tinted windows, the tires look good. Let me show you inside. All right, there's the passenger seat, looks good, just dirty. This car could use a good cleaning inside. All the door panels are in place. The back ones have some screw holes from emergency equipment that's been removed. The steering wheel looks worn. Driver's seat is torn. There are the hours. 7,900 hours. 142,000 miles and it's very low on gas. Rear seat is plastic on this one. Here are the screw holes I mentioned on the rear door panels. All right, there you have it. The 2010 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor runs and drives. It may need Freon for the AC. It's lot number 131. Lot number 131. Good luck.